Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate the half double crochet stitch, as you can see in this swatch that has three rows in it. And uh, you're going to start by finding a hook that um, matches the hook on, size on your skein of yarn. It'll tell you what size to use. Today we're using a 5.5 millimeter. And we'll begin with a slip stitch, slip knot, sorry, slip knot. Um, Basically make a loop and pull through, tighten, and then put it on your hook. And we'll begin by chaining 12. So to hold your working yarn, um, it's easiest to wrap it around your pinky and then drape it over your index finger like that to uh, be able to quickly adjust the tension. And to chain, you go over your hook and pull through the loop that's on there. So we're going to chain 12 because we want 10 demonstration stitches and the height of a half double crochet is um, two stitches high or two chains high and so those two extra chains after 10 will give us some height as you will see as we go on. So continue until you've counted 12 and I should have 12 there. And I'm going to begin by identifying where I'm going to insert my hook after I adjust my tension here. And I'm going to find, I'm going to skip the first two chain spaces there and insert my hook into this third one. But first I'm going to yarn over and then find the spot I identified, insert my hook. Yarn over again and pull up a loop. So I have three loops on my hook. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. All right, on to the next spot. Yarn over, you should go identify the next chain space. Not the same one, the next one. Insert your hook. Can be a little tight, especially when you're just learning. Yarn over. Pull, through, uh, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over into the next chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There we've done three half double crochets. Yarn over into the next spot, space. Again, you may have to wiggle and adjust, yarn over, Pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do another one. Yarn over into that chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over into the next chain space. Feel free to use your fingers to pull it through. Yarn over. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over into the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over into the chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop through all three loops. Yarn over into that chain. Yarn over, pull up the third loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. Let's count how many I have. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine V's, that's nine stitches. So yarn over into this last one. The last one's always tight for me. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we have 10 half double crochets, as you can see by counting 10 V's. So we're going to um, adjust our work and go back the other way. 
So to do that, we're going to just shift it around on your hook. And we're going to chain two to give ourselves some height. And so that we go up nice and straight and even. So chain two. And then you're going to insert your hook into that first V under both loops of the V after you've yarned over. So then yarn over again, pull through underneath both V's, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So the stitch is the same. It just looks a little different because you're going under, going under both V's. Yarn over under both V's of the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, under the V, yarn over, pull up that third loop, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, see, looking nice and even. Yarn over, into the next stitch, pull up the third loop, Yarn over, pull through all three. There we go. Continuing on down the row. Sometimes the pattern will tell you that your chain twos at the ends may count as your first stitch. The pattern will be specific one way or the other, in which case you would skip that first stitch and work into the second stitch. But... Um, your pattern will tell you one way or the other. Uh, so just pay attention to your pattern. Okay. Yarn over under the V. Yarn over through all three loops. So we're going to work one more row after we finish this one. So let's see, I've got two left. Don't forget you to get that last stitch there. It can be a little tight. You may have to use your fingers to wiggle it through. Make sure you get both hoops on the on, on top of the hook there. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three stitches. All three hoops. <laughs> so now I have 10 half double crochets. And I can chain two and work back the other way. So. See, one, two, and then I'm going to yarn over and go into that first stitch. Right there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And then I'm just going to continue going across. Um, this is just the basic half double crochet. It is uh, exactly in the middle between a single crochet and a double crochet. And uh, in terms of height and, and how it's uh, made. And your patterns will tell you how many chains to make to start, how many um, rows and, and stuff you will need. So um, just pay attention to your pattern and you should be able to create some wonderful things. And let's see, I've got a couple more till I reach the end of my swatch here. There we go, and now I have a nice even Half double crochet swatch.